Hi. Hi again. My name is Salvador Espinosa with uh, B9 Sigma Consulting Group. And in this video, in this uh, training, we're going to review uh, the stage number two in our uh, continuous improvement system. The stage number two is containment. Make sure that you are delivering value to your customers. Understand that and set up a 30, 60, 90 day plan to tune that around. Uh, and again, this is our, our uh, differentiator from other consultants because most of consultants, they don't want to go there. <laughs> they, ironically, they want to be around that because that's too much exposure to their, to, too much pressure for them. Uh, in B9 Sigma, we believe that it doesn't matter. We need to bring value and we want to be part of this process. You, you cannot claim to be a continuous improvement culture if you are not putting the customer in the center of your activity. If the organizations are driven by quality, then they will be looking for the, P, the DPPMs or PPMs. Uh, if it's driven by inventory, they're gonna be looking for uh, stock levels or uh, BMI programs, agility programs. I mean, depending on, on what is the culture and the, let's say the, um, uh, basis of the business, then you need to understand what are the most valuable, uh, uh, what brings more value to the customer. This Sometimes you find that you don't even have an agreement. So you need fixing that and doing a good negotiation will fix the perception in your customer. So, and review if, if equipment, if the people training methods and materials are aligned to deliver the value that the customer wants. Over one. Whatever it is, you need to have a place where the team can have discussions about improving the system. And then what we propose is to have very close uh, follow-up uh, 9, 12, 3, 6 uh, meetings, which means uh, every three hours you're gonna be meeting with your team, making sure that things are on, on progress. These are very short, we talk touch meetings where you come back, team back and say, hey, where we stand is, is something in the way to, to, to deliver what we plan for that day. And this is actually what allows you to, it's a lot of energy, but it's what actually allows you to change uh, a program and improve your, your customer uh, uh, perception. You involve the customer. There is no one case that I haven't seen where the customer has to have some level of uh, responsibility to improve the entire program. What it does mean, what, what does it mean? Sometimes uh, we need some deviations. Uh, sometimes they didn't specify correctly a process or maybe they're unaware of some design issues. We always recommend that the customer put some skin in the game, establishing a steering committee with you. We believe that that will improve the communication, that will improve your your commit process, and that will help us to also establish a, a, a plan forward. Important that you establish this in a systematic way. So the next time, the next round, or the next MPI, whatever it is, the next project, you use the same standardized way to improve your system. So this is this is what, what we propose in B9 Sigma. I hope the, the, this video will help you. If you have an existing problem, try to Follow these steps, give us a call, write us an email. We will be happy to, to, uh, to uh, support you with a non-obligation non, uh, consulting call, whatever you need, uh, any template, any, any, any questions, please. Uh, you have the number there, the, the email. Uh, and we will see you next time in the next uh, video, in the next uh, training session. Thank you so much and see you around.